Hey there everyone! Today I'm going to do a um, quick binder update since I haven't done one in what, like, months? Anyways, this first part I'm just going to go through my uh, completed sets while I talk to you a bit. Because I don't really have that much time to do this video. Because this is going to be a two part, two parts to it. The first part is just going to be the cards for trade. And the second part is going to be the uh, cards that I'm looking for. So I've tried to do it in one video and it's too big for one video. Anyways, the other things I want to say is um, I'm trying to have a few new things with my channel, as you might have noticed by now. Right now I have the um, Pokemon of the Week segment where you can just, or I'm just going to find this little uh, document of what a Pokemon looks like and post it. So basically, if you answer that, you have a chance to get onto one of my uh, Pokemon, the PokeTubers of the Week thing that I have on my channel. Basically, it's just random people on YouTube who post videos in the Pokemon community and I just want to get them a little more attention. I think if you check right now there's a few good people on there. Just drop on their channel and say hi and wish them the best of luck. Give them a few video views and if you like, subscribe to them. Anyways, that's about it. And this is where our binder, trade binder starts at. As you can see, we have some new Prime cards. I've decided I'm going to put up all these for trade because I'm getting another booster box on the way so that's good for trading. If you just want some just PM me. These legends I'm not quite sure about. I might trade, I might not trade. Here we have the level X's. Just be sure that if I have doubles of it like these tan growths it's for trade but if I don't have doubles of it it's not for trade like this Gengar. Let's quickly run through them. You can see I have quite a... well, actually you can't see it yet, but there you go, quite a bit. A lot of doubles, so I can do a lot of trading here. I have four Garchomp C level X's. Only one Charizard G, though. And three Blaziken FB's. Those are really good. As well as an Absol G. Well, actually I have three of them, as you can see. There's two of those Flygons. Remember, only doubles are for trade. Except for this next page. You see, well, these aren't for trade, but that Dialga G is for trade since I have two of them. And these five cards right here, they're from sets that I'm not trying to complete, so these are all for trade if you want them. Next up we have our Hollows. Got a few spaces in there. Again, if you see anything in this part of the binder, it's for trade. Hmm, I'm not as, I'm not as talkative as I usually am, so I'm sorry about that. But we're almost finished. I'm not sure why this took me so long the first try. Like, I tried making this video once, and uh, I went over by two whole minutes. Blah, I talk too much, so I got to cut back on that. Well, at least for big, massive videos like this one. I think it's mostly at this last part that I start talking. Okay, here we have some of the old EX hollows. I, I never really liked the EX series, so I never got into collecting them. My Japanese page, that's a hollow frost bat from the advent of Arceus. This Pikachu M, it might be for trade, but I'd need a really good offer for it, because, come on, that card is awesome. I also have that Cresselia level X for trade, and the Infernape um, Elite 4 level X for trade. That's a Chibi Arceus, I really like that one. Not weird Pikachu, and some weird Stadium. Ooh, here. Uh, well, you can see about that last page, but this is the rest of my Japanese cards. Got some really nice vending series cards from G-Skills818. Definitely a great trader. And you see this chancy right here? I traded quite a bit for it, but it was worth it in the end. I plan on giving it to someone when their birthday comes up, I think in a few months. And I know that she's going to be really happy about that, so this definitely isn't for trade. Here I have my EX cards. I don't know, like I said, I never liked the EX series, so I didn't collect them, but... As you can, as you can see, the ones I do have are really, really good. These ones aren't for trade, though. The rest of them are. 
Except for the Celebi, I love the Celebi to death almost as much as I like Charizard. There you go. Next up we have the uh, Secret Rares and Arceus cards. About seven Arceuses for trade, as well as two reprints, the Zapdos and the Charmeleon. Let's see, here we go. Oh, this Pikachu is not exactly in good condition, it's flaking at the top. That's where the card's like trying to come off from the back card itself. It, it looks decent in the binder, it looks like there's nothing wrong, but it's got a few scratches and all that, so... If you just want it to collect, like just for your binder, that's good. If you want to just have it in a top loader, it's probably not as good since you can see it then. Here's my shining cards. The only cards on this page that aren't for trade is this first edition shining Kabutops. I really love this card to death. And this shining Celebi, one of my favorite Pokemon, as well as this one. No trading. Anyways, the other ones are for trade. But you gotta know that these two shinies aren't exactly in mint condition. This one is. Oh, it's so perfect, except it's got this one tiny little thing up there. It's like a crease. You won't be able to see it in this video, but it's got a crease from someone trying to force it into a binder or something like that. And this one has some, uh, just little scratches on there and a little edge wear. But other than that, the rest of them are mint. Here we have some old hollows, since I know some people like that. Oh, this one's all scratched up, by the way. Not really that great for trading. The rest of them are pretty good, actually. We have a red cheeks Pikachu here. Oh, and this Charizard's in terrible condition, just to let you know right now, since this I found this in a binder that I had in my old house, and I just took it just because of the old memories of a stupid kid playing with his Pokemon cards, bending it, putting it in his pocket. Not for trade, as you may have... <laughs> not that anyone would want it. Here we have my completed fossil set. I think I've already shown you that, but I'll just show you the hollows. Those are all hollows, and these are the last seven hollows, I think. No, 16. 16 hollows in the set. Okay, next up, we'll just quickly go on to the rest of the video, which is over here, my old spot. Okay, I have about four minutes to show you all these cards. Start off with my reverse hulls. Anyways, let's see if I can get them all in there. Just gonna go through really fast. Two Vibravas, I'm not sure how they got there. <laughs> oh well. Celebi, wow, that Celebi, I love that one. Another tan growth. I Credant, really good card. Well, some people don't like it, but I personally do. My champ. Mew, gotta love Mew. Yuxi, another Yuxi promo. Here's some trainers. I know some people like them, so that's why I'm posting them. Oh wow. Okay, that that one wasn't a trainer, but that was just a uh, what do you call it? Bastiodon trying to be a trainer, I guess. Oh, poor little Bastiodon. He'll never be a trainer. Next up, we have my regular rares. This is a huge stack, so I'm gonna have to go super fast. Hopefully you'll be able to, if you see anyone you're looking for, you can just pause the video. There should be a slowdown button on YouTube where you can, like, watch super fast videos just in slow motion. That would be a godsend. Okay, I think I'll make the 10 minute time limit this time. <laughs> yeah, I won't have to do this video a third time. Yes, I've done this two times and I've gone over the 10 minute mark. So this is a pretty good day for me now, after I've got this video out of the way. Wow, I have a lot more rares than I thought I did. Oh wait, there's a Yuxi back there. Oh, there it is.
I got a lot of dust talks because people like sending that to me as free cards, and you know, I really do like dust talks to be honest, but it's one of the first cards I ever got it back into, like the first pack I got a dust talks and a uh, beautiful eye rare from Platinum Series. Oh, I have three more wilds. I really like this card because it's kind of like that Scyther from uh, Jungle Set. Because it has that turnaround standby that makes it do more damage for its other two attacks, except Mawile's a little better. I'd really love to use it in a deck. Which I do plan to do, by the way. A deck of the month, or something like that. Oh well. And I'll leave you off with these ones. Holy smokes, 10 minute marks here, so I'll just quickly run through them. And that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you next time. I know you're not getting a good look at these, but these are just uncommons. Ask me about it. We'll see you in part two. Later.